All right, so this one kind of throws people because you're used to having uh, three things in each, but it's actually easier than um, what we're used to because they've already done part of the work. We can see that this one here is just in terms of X and Y. And so if we can just take a set of two, like these, like the, I can totally eliminate the Z's in this one and make it also in terms of X and Y. So if I took my B and my C, and make sure I write them down carefully, Y plus Z is 7, and X minus Z is 2, and I add these together, the Z's will totally go away. Now here you got to be careful, those aren't like terms, so you can't really combine them, but when you're adding this side, you still just have Y plus X. So I'm just going to write in the other order, because it looks better as X plus Y on this side, right? Adding up all the terms on this side, the Z's would go away, and you just have X plus Y on the sides of 9. And so this you can call like your A star if you want. And I can combine that with, I don't need to get take another 2 and do my normal extra other step to eliminate the Z's again, because the Z's are already gone in this one, right? So I want to just combine that with combine my new equation, um, the x plus y equals 9, this is my a star, and this is my normal a, and I'll just, the uh, x plus y equals 9, both have just x's and y's, and I'm going to just multiply this guy by a negative 1, so I'll keep the top one the same, I'll multiply this guy by a negative 1, and those go away, oh wow, and those go away. So I have nothing left on this side, and on this side, I get 9 minus 9 um, is 0 again. So here, we're getting 0 equals 0 is strange, but true. So this is the case with, um, there are an infinite number of solutions, infinite number of solutions, but no unique solution. And some teachers would have you go farther and explain, like, you know, hey, if there are an infinite number of solutions, why don't you name me one? Um, and actually, I'll go ahead and do that just for later. Um, but uh, some classes just have you stop here and say just no so unique solution. But hey, if we're going to say there's an infinite number, let's go find them, right? So now, if you had an infinite number, you would go back to one of these equations you just used, one of the equations with the two unknowns, and solve for one of the variables. So I'm going to say that y equals negative x uh, plus 9, right? So if y equals negative x plus 9, and I let x be whatever it wants to be, then I just need to know what z is. So I can go back up to one of these original equations, um, with a z in it, and say, if y plus z is 7, then negative x plus 9 plus z should, yeah, plus z should equal 7, and I can solve for the z. So I can say that 7 plus x minus 9 should be z, so z should be x minus 2. So the form of my solutions is going to be the uh, x can be whatever it wants, the y has to be negative x plus 9, and the z has to be x minus 2. So, and you can let x be whatever, so x can be an infinite number of things, and you can get that. So let's find one, right? So let's let x be your favorite number. Let's let b x be 5. So if x were 5, then y would be negative 5 plus 9 is 4, 5 minus 2 is 3. Now cross your fingers, we didn't lose any negatives, and we're going to check that this works in the beginning. So x is 5, y is 4, z is 3. Checking these back in the originals, x is 5, y is 4, z is 3. We've got um, 5 plus 4 is 9. Check. 4 plus z is, uh, 3 is 7, check, 5 minus 3 is 2, check, ha, didn't lose any negatives, awesome. So that's our answer. Some teachers let you leave it as no unique solution, some
Some teachers make you go all the way out and find this form. Sometimes you won't see it with X's. Sometimes they make you do a parameter T, let T be whatever it wants, and they just swap in that variable for kind of technical reasons. So sometimes you'll see an answer like that. You might also see answers like the X wasn't unique. Uh, I could have solved at this point here for the Y and gotten different answers. There's lots of ways to present this final answer, um, but hopefully that gives you the gist. Okay.